Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Salty. I'm forgetting which camera to look at because my setup is all different than what it normally is today. But my name is Salty, and today, instead of playing Animal Crossing, I am going to be attempting to fix my right Joy-Con. Um, there's a channel that uh, called VK's channel that put up a uh, video a few weeks ago about a piece of paper solving this issue potentially. Uh, and I've been hesitant about sending back my yellow Joy-Con because the special edition Joy-Cons... Um, you're not guaranteed to get it back from Nintendo if you send it in for it to be fixed. It even says that on its website if it's not the gray or the red or blue Joy-Con that they can't guarantee you to get it back, which is why I've been so um, hesitant. Which is why I've been so hesitant to uh, send it in there. So um, sorry. Uh, sorry about that echo. Um. What's up, Amber? What's up, Lorelai? What's up, Cake Chicken? Oh, VK's channel, you're here. I actually am, uh, I'm doing this because I saw your video and subsequently everybody else's. Um, I just pinned the video to it, so definitely go watch that video if you're thinking about doing this yourself. Uh, VK, you did a really great job, so thanks a bunch. That, I actually had it, like, saved in my clipboard for you. That's, that's pretty cool. I appreciate this. Um, and sorry about the echo before, um, setups a little bit differently uh and i had i can't get the uh, audio working i had some lo-fi stuff that i was gonna play but um can't get that working my mic just glitched and it glitched and it jump scared you oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i think it should be better let me know if it's uh not better and i will uh check that out vk you're looking at all mod attempts awesome this is like one big uh community experiment isn't it so I have this uh, piece of cardboard that uh, came off of a jacket um, that I haven't worn yet. Um, so I'm really, actually, I'm really happy about that jacket because it was a $50 jacket that I got for $4.99 on the clearance track. So um, if I can't return it because I pulled off this tag, you know what? I, it doesn't matter. So this this uh, this fix may have only cost me four bucks. So I'm also using my iFixit kit to get in here. Um, and I have like an affiliate link in the description if you guys want to go check that out. So uh, let's get to it because I am pretty excited about getting this done. Like I said, this this drift this has been experiencing drift for a while now, um, and I'm excited to try and get it get it all fixed up here because Nintendo, like I said earlier, when the mic was glitching glitching out, I'm not sure if you heard it. Nintendo only guarantees that you'll get back a gray, red, or blue Joy-Con, and I love this special edition one um, that I got. I think this is the ARMS special edition one. Even though I don't like that game, I love this color. Did you do the pressure test before opening the Joy-Cons? Yes, I did. So hopefully this should work. Let me just get a little uh, pick to pry open here. Oh, I only need one. All right, cool. Um, yeah, and this looks pretty simple. You just gotta kind of be gentle because there's a bunch of ribbon cables in here. And uh, after fixing a bunch of like phone screens for family members and stuff like that, uh, and messing one up, like ribbon cables, Ribbon cables can be a bit of a headache because uh, it's hard to kind of tell where some of them are at. Cool. If the pressure test made the drift disappear, the card will pretty much solve your problem. Yeah, uh, that's why I was so excited. That's why I want to do this. This is like really, it feels like there's something really stuck in here. Okay, here we go. It's coming off now. Um, Cake Chicken, you went back to see if it was just your headphones glitching and you legitimately jumped in your seat. I'm sorry, Chick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cake. I'm sorry. Take my time. Don't rush the disassembly. Yeah. Well, like I said, if worse comes to worse, I have, an, I have another pair of Joy-Con that... Um, I would probably, I was actually thinking about like if this, there wasn't a fix for it, like I was just going to, I have an old pair of gray, of a gray one, 
Um, there we go. You know how many years of like dead skin cells are probably <laughs> helping hold this thing together? Oh, there we go. You don't know why I'm nervous, right? It's okay, Amber. You're allowed to be nervous. You're like Sakura. Sakura's like, I don't want to be on this stream. I would be backseat driving like you're doing things. She also hates taking electronics apart. But I love it. Right. And you remember how I said there's like dead skin cells probably holding this thing together? There definitely are a bunch down here. All right. And if we get this done in a reasonable amount of time, which I think we should. There we go. Cool. If we get this done in a reasonable amount of time. Whoops. Uh, we can hop into Animal Crossing, which we will be streaming tomorrow. And I'll be doing a villager hunt. Um... Because Harry moved off my island today. Oh. Looks like something's caught. Let me just grab a, uh, a tweezer real quick. I hate these tweezers. I accidentally stabbed myself with these tweezers before. All right. We have officially voided our warranty here. I'm sorry, I have to learn how to uh, keep this uh, centered here, but yeah. I'm not sure if you could see that, but there was a hair in there. Kind of gross. Don't know how that got it. Well, I do know how it got it. The person assembling it. It's their hair. So it's really doesn't want to come unstuck down here. So we're just gonna keep going over it with the uh, with this pick until until it decides to actually come off. Hey, uh, hey, Gabby, what's up? How you doing? Trying to fix my Joy-Con. Oh, it's, what is it getting stuck on? Like I said, whenever I'm taking apart electronics, here we go. Always go like way slower than you want to. Okay, here we go. Um, there's a hair in there, that's gross. All right. And, oh, there we go, okay. Now these ribbon cables, whoops, let me reposition this so everybody can see. Also, if you attempt this and you break it, it is it's, do it at your own risk. It is not mine or VK's fault. <laughs> uh, we'll be trying Pokemon Unite. Uh, yeah, I downloaded it um, this afternoon. Um, or at least I started downloading it. I don't know if it finished or not. Um, so these ribbon cables right here, these little things that just look like a piece of plastic, those are really easy to break. So you want to take your time with it. And now on this one, I need to find a way to get this battery out. So I'm going to try and use like a little pry tool. But yeah, I'm excited to try put, uh, to try it. Um, should be fun. It's a little bit hard to come out because there are small clips holding it together. Yeah. There's, yeah, that's, that's always an issue with, uh, with things. I had to replace a USB-A port on, um, an audio interface last year. Um, that was probably the most, that was probably the trickiest, um, thing I've ever done. Just, okay, that one's not going to work. Let's try the pick again. See if that'll work. Uh, yeah, Gabby, have you played Pokemon Unite at all yet? I've never played a MOBA before. So uh, I'm also like a little bit... Let me try coming at it from the side here. 
I was a little bit nervous that, like, I'm just going to show up, and because I've never played a MOBA, I'm going to be like, what's happening, and just, like, embarrass myself. Oh, there we go. Right out. Oh, okay, so there's some tape holding the battery down. All right. Let me find a way to prop, prop this. Also, I don't know why the color is so faded on, on here. Like I said, this is the first time I'm trying my camera setup this way. So, okay, it looks like we need to take the this screw out here, but... I'm also a little bit embarrassed because of how much, like, dead skin and, and, like, little hairs we're finding of mine in here. But I guess if everybody took theirs apart, it would be the same. You can disconnect the battery from the terminals inside. It's pretty easy to pop out and back in. Oh, yeah, I see that right there. Yeah, I'm going to... So if I take my little, sorry, my head's in the way here. If I keep getting my head in the way, like let me know, and I'll and I'll try I'll try and move it. Just trying to be able to see it correctly here. I'm just gonna be very very gentle with this. I'm not even really prying. I'm more so just trying to like find just a little spot where I can hook this on and kind of pull up a little bit. Use the plastic one, just don't do it with metal tools, yeah. One, I, I prefer to do it with plastic because, so here's the thing, if you don't know what you're doing with like taking things apart, um, this isn't so bad because it, uh, this is like a low low voltage, uh, low amp kind of kind of deal here. However, there are capacitors inside of other electronics that if you discharge them on themselves, it will kill you. So don't just think you can fix anything. Definitely do some research before you pop stuff open and know when something's you know uh, out of your league. I like don't have a tool that is perfectly sized for this. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to just try and be kind of dainty here and take it out. I think I can work around that. I'd rather just leave it in there and try and work around it. And if it becomes a problem, I can come back to it. All right. Um, can we talk about the Loki finale now? Yes, Amber, go for it. Spoiler alert, if you have not seen Loki, Amber is about to go off. Please be my guest, Amber. I was, to be honest, I was super not into Loki at first, like, as a character, uh, until Thor Ragnarok. And then I was like, you know what? How are they going to have his, like, character arc come back? Because he learned and, like, developed, became a whole person, a whole human being, all that kind of stuff. And then I was like, oh, you know what? They're actually making this a pretty, pretty cool, cool thing here. Oh, sorry, let me move that back into frame. And there's one more screw here. Oh, and there is another hair. So we're gonna be cleaning this out as we go. Yeah, that's definitely mine. It's the right color. I am very excited for Kang. Um, I am very excited that like the MCU now has like a uh geopolitical like they probably and i they have like a ground level threat with geopolitical threat which is like this is like earth and this threatens earth and then it's like um 
this starting Earth with like Captain America stuff, which is really great. You need that. Is there a fourth one that I'm not seeing? No, there's a ribbon cable. Okay. We gotta be careful here. There is a, I see it. I'm not sure if you can see it in here, but there's a ribbon cable right in there. Um, yeah. What's up, Lemonade? How you doing? Oh, we have to undo this guy right here. Okay. That was just kind of like wrapped right there. Okay, gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, okay, so the ribbon cable wasn't on this side. That one just folded over. It's over here. You can see it coming through as well. So we're just going to very gently kind of open this up. All right, and so you can see in there, let me angle that right. So you can kind of see, let me use the plastic one here. Kind of use the, you can see this guy here. And this one we're going to have to cut the paper to size and put that on top of. All right, right down in there. So, you know what? I'm actually going to have to go get a pair of scissors or a razor or something like that. So I'll be right back. Thanks, VK. Appreciate it. Okay, you were let down by the finale. You don't know what it was, what it was about. I think that there's hardly any action scenes, really, but you're super excited for the second season. Yeah, Amber. Um, it's really cool. Like I was saying, I like how they set it up. There's a geopolitical threat with Val setting up the probably the Thunderbolts or the Dark Avengers. Um, and I love that there is also, um, like, the more, like, um cosmic threats like we're gonna see in Thor Ragnarok uh Captain Marvel and th those kinds of things uh but then I also like that there's also an existential threat with Kang which is really cool which is just like the comic books there's always a ground level threat there's always a cosmic threat and then there's always existential threats it's good let me go get a razor I'll be right back Alrighty. You hear Loki has been confirmed to appear in Doctor Strange 2? Yes. And that sounds about right. Can always cut this a little bit smaller. I need to, oh perfect all right and so how deep Jeff probably about the same let's try and make this a nice square so we're just gonna cut this a little bit more sorry about my head getting in the way I'm new to the whole top-down camera thing um, what should we do after this because it's actually going a lot faster than I thought uh, we could do some Mario Kart which we've never done on stream here we are going to be playing Animal Crossing tomorrow because um, I have a villager moving out. We're going to try and get Camo Frog to move in to replace Harry moving out. Um, but We do some Mario Kart races. We've never done that. It'd be fun to play with you guys. Um, actually, uh... I'm going to trim this kind of frayed edge here. Just score this a few times. There you go. That's better. You also don't like the way they have used Loki to introduce the new big bag again. Poor Loki has no luck. Yeah. It's fine though. I know a lot of people who love Loki. I'm just like, he's okay. I had it's a big it's not that he's just okay. It's like I had no, like, investment in Loki prior to, like, the Marvel movies, you know? Because I, I didn't really read Thor comics all that much. I was mostly, like, Spider-Man and Iron Man comics, so. All right. 
in terms of Marvel stuff. Uh, it was pretty much exclusively Spider-Man. Um, I've been following the main Spider-Man series since I was like seven. So here we go. I'm going to put that right back down on there. I believe that's where we're supposed to put it. Let me know, v uh, VK, if that's wrong. Um, going to put everything back the way that we found it. The ZR cable is still there. Sweet. Okay, everything's kind of clipped in there. Let me just tap that in there real, real quick. All right. And then these screws. Also, this screwdriver size, I had to move away from the triple zero, the Y triple zero. I had to use a Phillips triple zero. Like I said, I link. If you're gonna try this at home, I linked. I have an affiliate link in the description on Amazon, and uh, you can grab this kit. They're pretty reasonably priced, uh, especially if you want to fix some more stuff around your house. I've used this to replace a screen on my phone when it broke. This kit, so gonna tighten them. I don't want to strip them, but I do want to do want to go in until you know a little bit firm. Also, the cool thing about this is it's magnetic, and the lid has like these compartment trays in it too. So you can keep all different types of screws the same, all that stuff. Very good for organization. Oh, whoops. All right, I missed, I missed the thread there. If the drift doesn't stop right away, you can always move the card around a bit as it may be in a bad position. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it open and then turn the game on a little bit. Um, and then see, I'll put the switch on and then see if I can't get it working. Cool, and let's just pressure fit this real quick. There's a lot of resistance over here around the bottom. So I'm going to put that one in first. OK, cool. And we're lighting up still. Cool. What do you think? It's all right. Cool. At least close the shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I am. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. OK, so it fits. I mean, I can definitely tell it's snug in there now. Like there's a little bit of pressure pushing back on it. There's also one more thing that we do need to fix while we're here on my other Joy-Con. Um, so let me just switch over. Bear with me for a second. You'd try this on your Joy-Con, but you're not going to, since breaking them would be bad and new Joy-Cons are expensive. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm doing this because I said in the beginning, Lemonade, that uh, um, Nintendo on their website says if you have a special edition Joy-Con, you're not guaranteed to get it back. But you will get a working Joy-Con back. So um, I don't think that's acceptable, first off. Uh, and then two... Um, I don't, these, this is my favorite color Joy-Con. They don't sell them anymore. Uh, so I'd rather repair them. Um, just another reason why the right to repair is so important. All right. All right. Um, I'm just putting these over here so I don't accidentally knock them off. All right. Let me, do you guys want me to switch over to, uh, so you can see if this works or not? All right, let me just get my switcher up. All right. I got a new HDMI switcher, so we should be able to switch back and forth between multiple things without losing the stream. So, uh, give me a second. Bear with me. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. You can just put the switch in portable mode. Yeah. All right. We were playing Animal Crossing. Oh, 
Oh, lucky you just changed out of your outfit. Okay. Here we go. Let's go to the settings. I'm trying to be gentle with the one in my hand here. Uh, let's go down. Controllers and sensors. Calibrate control sticks. Press down on the stick you want to calibrate. Plus is shown instead of a dot and six. Okay, cool. Not being touched. I will show you real quick. Whoop, sorry. Not being touched. And we see the X plus on the screen there. Um, it looks like it is. I mean, it, v, VK, it looks, it looks like this works. I'm going to kind of press it firmly just to make sure and like give it some good pressure. See if it goes back. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Or you can put the switch portable one, but yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks, VK. Uh, I pinned VK's channel to the top of the chat here. So definitely go check that out. And thank you for showing everybody how to, that this is a, this is a viable solution for your switch, it looks like. We'll test it because like uh, sometimes there, I get a couple minutes here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put my new drill bit, in, uh, my, my bit, my bit in. Try making full circles. All right. All right. While corners reg register properly, yeah. I'm gonna try and make small circles in between. Oh, this is harder than it looks. All right. Up, down, right, left, slide, diagonally across, diagonally across the other way. We're good. And it's okay. Yay, congrats. So glad it worked for you. Thanks. Yeah, like I said, we'll 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 test it out for a little bit too because there are also moments. Thanks, VK. Have fun. Appreciate it. Um oh no. There are definitely let me just switch back over to the top of the uh whoops. Sweet. All right, so we got it working. That was cool. Feel free to message you if the drift comes back. Thanks, VK. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, if anybody else is looking to do this, VK explains the reasoning why on his channel. He also has a lot of Sonic references in that video as well, which I totally appreciate because I have been a Sonic fan since forever ago. Uh, since I had my Sega Genesis. All right. Cool. What do you guys want to do? You guys want to play some Mario Kart? I'll open it up for everyone to we could play together. We could do uh, we could pop into Animal Crossing and do some uh, do some island cleanup if we if you want that instead. I will be streaming Animal Crossing Villager Hunt tomorrow night as well. Mario Kart Lemonade. All right. It's been a minute since I played Mario Kart online. You guys might have to help me uh, bear with me for a minute as I get it set up. All right. I need to put some more pressure on this uh, oh, this Joy-Con here. Yeah, so I have to pay attention to this. Uh, it's really easy to strip these if you're careless and not really paying attention. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. Mario Kart, all right. Sweet. Awesome. All right. And that's that. We did it. Don't try and force those screws too much. Yeah. Um, I've stripped an iPhone screw uh, accidentally before. It is not fun. Not fun at all. All right. All right, well, that was that. Um, let me just turn my overhead off real quick so we're not using extra batteries or anything. Oops. All right. All 
right, the overhead is off. Communication with the controller was interrupted. Let me just try and repair these again. That shouldn't be an issue. All right. All right, we're, we are good. Let me just change my monitor setup over here. Um, oh, you know what? Give me one minute, everybody. Literally one minute. I will be right back and we'll play some Mario Kart. All right, we are back. All right, is everything back and working? Let me fix this light real quick. Sweet, all right. You don't have Mario Kart so you can't play with us. Oh no, sorry Amber. All right, let me just edit the title too. And then Mario Kart. All right, cool, 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 cool. Sweet. Glad the fix worked, thank you so much, uh, VK. Like I said, uh, VK's channel is pinned to the top there as well. Have fun. Well, thank you for helping us out so that we could have fun. Cool, let me just, like I said, I just need to reset everything. I set a bunch of stuff up today so that we could do this top-down view because I thought it was going to be a lot more. What is going on now? Now I'm having pairing issue. Oh, here we go. You would be terrible at Mario Kart. Don't say that, Amber. You'd be great. Just takes a little bit of practice, you know? Just takes a little bit of practice. Bye, VK. Thanks for helping check out your other video. Ah, yeah. Like I said, go su go support VK. Very big help. Uh, and if you uh, were watching this video, uh, thank you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Salty, and I play a lot of stuff with my wife Sakura as well. Um, Let's hop into Animal Crossing real quick, and uh, if anybody wants to play Mario Kart, let me know in the chat. I think Lemonade said Mario Kart. We could also try... Um, we could also try Pokemon Unite also. Let's download that in the background here. This is just more of like a chill and chat stream now, and we'll play what we play. Lemonade, do you want to play? Okay, cool. Free to play download. Love that. Love to see it.
Thank you. Sweet. All right, it's downloading. You don't own Pooey Night? That's fine. We'll give it a shot later. See what it. See what all of the hype is about. Ooh. Uh. Let's let's uh just start the software here. It's been a while since I played online with anybody Mario Kart. So. What's Pokemon Unite? Pokemon Unite is a game that just came out like today or yesterday. It um. It's like you get three Pokemon, uh, and you compete against other people who also have three Pokemon in this big arena, uh, and you're supposed to catch Pokemon, uh, and... Software update, oh no. Yeah, I do need to. Alright. <laughs> let's uh let's pop into Animal Crossing while we wait. Um Anyway, so Pokemon Night, it's like a, it's a MOBA, so kind of like League of Legends, but not League of Legends, but Pokemon, but catching Pokemon and basketball? I don't know. It looks interesting. Alright. Coco's out and about. Oh man, we are having some internet issues today, aren't we? YouTube is not getting enough data. Nintendo's like, you will install that update. I know, I know. Uh, it's so it's so bothersome sometimes. It's kind of like, no, just just let me play. Oh, looking very dapper today. Let's change it to something a little bit more uh, iconic. There we go. All right. All right. So we'll check in here while that is going for us. Let's see how they're going. Uh, we're gonna cancel this download. I think that might be what is happening with YouTube. Alright, we'll finish Pokemon because so that's almost done because that's happening really fast. And the Mario Kart update is probably going to be huge. So, we'll let that one go. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's what I'm doing. I was going over to Harry's house. Harry is moving out. I think he uh, asked me this morning if he could move out. See, he's in, uh, he shouldn't be in boxes today. So I'll, I'll time travel tomorrow. Also, did you guys see that Korra finally found Lolly? There's almost 3,000 tickets. Alright, Harry. Looking sharp, kiddo. Tomorrow I plan on packing. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna hunt for Camo Frog tomorrow. Because Camo Frog has been like the one villager who's been elusive to me. Where, like, we kept finding Camo Frog when we were looking for Barrel, but then never found Camo Frog ever again. Alright. Isn't there a fishing tournament? A bug tournament today? Oh no, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow's a bug tournament. Ooh. Look at you, Lucky. That ice pop? You're wearing a sweater in the middle of summer. Install the update or perish. Alright, well, um... So it looks like the Joy-Con's working. That's pretty cool. I mean, it is a tight fit. I'm... Yeah. I mean, it is a tight fit. I'm not sure if you can see that. There is a slight, you know, bulge, I guess you would call it, from where I slid the paper in underneath. 
What's up, Coco? Ever since we met, I felt like I knew your face from somewhere. Meowzers, I remember now. You were on the cover of Hobby Life once for a feature article of all about your process of collecting stamps. I'm right, aren't I? I'm not? Oh no. Um, can we pretend like I never asked? Sure. You gave Dobie to someone today from the Nukazon Discord for free? You got Maple in the campsite and she chose Dobie to replace? You think you might just do a forest core island instead because you like the way the log houses look around your island? That's cool. King Barreled. How are you doing today, sire? The place must be real chill for you to come around so much. Um, here's a gift. Huh? What is it? Um, oh, I didn't think this one through. Oh no, I don't have anything. Uh, you know what? You need a toilet. You need a throne. It's Barreled's throne. There you go. Ooh, soothing tea room wall. Yeah, forest core is cool, Amber. I I think I've started to do that. Like this area over here. Like, between Barreled and Coco's house, like, this is probably my favorite area of my island. And, like, I know I could make it better if I could put a few mushrooms down. Stuff like that. Some more things, like these puddles. I think it could be better. Maybe something like a small frog, like they're hopping through the woods, like little things that you'd find in the forest. Let's see how we're doing. Oh. Looks like our download has stalled. Alright, so this is then turned into away from Mario Kart to uh to uh, an island an island cleanup. Okay. You love the way the prom crowns look on villagers. On your old island you gave one to Murphy Barrel and Gaston and they all looked adorable. Yeah. They're great. <clears throat> Do you guys think we're ever going to get an update? Because I don't. I don't. I'm looking for those toy bugs. I want to see if I have any left. I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Here we go. Kinda wish you could put these spider webs up on trees or something like that. Yeah, like if you could hang these uh, spooky garland, anything that's like technically a garland, like if you could hang between two trees that are spaced apart the right way, or a hammock or something like that, that'd be so fun. All right. All right, we can go put that down. All right. Um, you know what I thought? I should probably just download the me fixing the video. Oops. Me fixing the Joy-Con and put that up as its own video. Wrong way. Let's see if uh if uh Hans is home. No, he's not. Hans is out somewhere. I gave Hans some sailor stuff because he's the captain of our party boat, and he never wears it. Where is he? You know what? He might be in the museum, and I'm not gonna go hunting for him. Hey, Cherry. You just realized you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Bearhold. <laughs> I owe Barreled so much. Ooh, I see Barreled trying to hide that back there. Barreled, K 
King barreled on his money hoard back here. I mean, I haven't had a problem with the Joy-Con since we fixed it, you know? Save. Yeah, we owe a lot to Barrel And Korra. I think I should put a cockroach right here. Yeah, I need the that toy set to feed too. I'm actually gonna I'll get more Oh the bug off tomorrow, I can get more. Perfect. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna make more bee boxes too and put them in the forests. Everyone talks about like kid core and forest core and stuff like that. What if someone makes like a hardcore island? Like it's all like punk and metal you only have punk villagers everything is all black and white you finally got money tree on isabel's lucky day that gave you more than the 10k bags well you got 350 wow that's awesome i always forget to pay attention for it being like isabel will say it and then um i always forget oh man i haven't been by vesta's house in a while Yeah, so this is the, whoops. So yeah, the I think it fixed it because I'm not getting any drift at all. Pretty cool. Awesome. Sweet, so I, I don't, uh, I can also return that jacket if it doesn't fit. So I'm not out my four bucks. Who would fit on like a hardcore metal island? You love Vesta's farm area? It's cute. Oh, thank you. I feel like I need to do some more leveling up. I need Sakura to come over. You know what I need? I need I need to give Sakura free reign on my island. Be like, hey, can you can you pass my island and decorate my island? Not decorate, but you know what I mean. She's just really good at putting down putting down patterns. Way better than I am. It's like uh, it's like hiring an interior di designer, but an exterior designer. Oh no, there we go. It bounced off the floor and up on top of the table. There we go. Alright. Kyle, Cherry, maybe Elvis. I was thinking, um... Uh, what's his name? Roscoe would be a good one. And, uh... Ed, is it Ed? Who's Ed with the, uh, he has like, he's like the blonde pony with like the emo, the blonde emo hair. He'd be a good one too. Cause I also need to do this right here. Also, freaking Vesta gave me fake art in the mail today. Come on. All right, how are we doing on that download? Oh, we have made... All right, downloads are not working, it looks like, tonight. All right. Animal Crossing it is. Let's change the name so we're not destroying pe people's expectations. All right, just change the name of the streamer real quick so that people don't pop in 
and be supremely disappointed. What core is your island? I don't know. Lemon core? I think you can't download stuff when you're playing a different game. I think it's also the same with updates. Oh no. That kind of stinks. I feel like I've downloaded updates while I'm playing a game though. I don't know. Roscoe and Matilda? Yeah, and uh, and uh, Muffy, right? You knew there were others we were forgetting. Maybe Rasher because he looks tough? Yeah. Um, or Kurt? Yeah. Maybe Kurt, if you dress him the right way. Because he looks like he uh, got his his head bashed in, in in the mosh pit and he has a band-aid on. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, my lighting is terrible tonight. It's because I moved everything around. Is that better? Hey, Kit Kat, what's up? Oh no, he's not leaving. I'm looking for a jumper works but guess what? I have one on me. I need to close Animal Crossing first so you can download Unite slash the Mario Kart 8 update. Thanks, Armando. Yeah. I don't think that would be fun to watch that download, though, on stream, so I, I feel like we'll just stay here for now. Um, but we will be uh, villager hunting tomorrow night for Camo Frog, and that will kick off a villager hunt that I am willing to go to the extents for... Barrel is sinking, so you're going to ignore that? Good call, good call. It's always so scary. You're like, oh no, no one's moved off for a while, and someone's thinking. Do they want to move off or change their name? Or change their, uh, not their name, your name. All right, let's go sell a few things. Um, yeah, so the villager hunt that we're starting tomorrow, I am going to the lengths of what we did for Barreled for Camo Frog. So it's going to be one of those streams where, like, if we don't catch Camo Frog, next stream is going to be a hunt for Camo Frog. That kind of stream. I want to sell. You think it's a move off? Lemon, how how dare you ignore Barold that that he wants to move off? Oh, you've been trying to get Anka out. Yeah, so you've been time traveling probably, right? Yeah. Steampunk glasses? Nah, I don't need those. Oh, this bass. Yeah. Let's get rid of that sea bass. She isn't leaving. I feel like you've been trying to get Anka out for a while. Do, did you mail her garbage? I've also found like sometimes like if the specific villager I want to move out isn't moving out, I try and raise everybody else's friendship level higher. And I feel like by comparison, that it helps out, you know? Okay. Sweet. Look for the Discord isn't in the description. <gasps> oh no. I can fix that. Thanks, Amber. You have been doing that, Lemonade? Okay. Let's go evaluate some of these fossils. I need one fossil until I get I have all of the fossils. I went the wrong way.
Oh, whoops, let me edit the invite. Uh, expire never. No limit. Create link. Copy. Thanks for pointing that out, Amber. I will join us. On Discord. Thanks, Amber. Alright. I guess I have to figure out something here. Evaluate these fossils. I know I have a bunch on the beach, but those are reserved for my sister. Slash Nukazan. I just became that emo- the- the, uh, the scream emoji. Or the Macaulay Culkin, the Home Alone face. That's what it reminds me of, too. I'm using- uh, okay. Back to Fossil Beach you go. I finally caught one of the golden beetles that I needed today, which was awesome. Stuck there for a second. Hey, Vesta, what's up? Did I talk to you today, alright? Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Golivar is here today. And let's go do that. Because it's been a while since I've seen him, too. Uh, let's go drop these off at the beach. I'm just gonna buy a wetsuit rather than going all the way back to my house because I'm right here. And then we'll go we'll go help Golvar and see what items he gives us tomorrow. Look at the Animal Crossing chat. Okay, one second. Oh gosh, Chrissy's using the toilet right outside Cat's house. Oh, You'll buy it. Sweet. All right, I haven't had a problem with the drift, so I think this fixed it. That's super exciting. Look at her in that little heart apron, yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't been able to check Discord. I broke broke my phone. The screen isn't really working, so I only get to see half of everything on my screen, so waiting for... Oh no, I can't use my pole to get back. Oh, who's thinking over there? Everybody's thinking today. I don't pay you guys to think. You're gonna hurt yourselves. Oh, gotta catch that beetle. Oh, but it's gonna make her clap. Forget the beetle. Oh, you made me forget what I was worrying about just now. Thanks. That's it. I missed a beetle for that. Oh, I can't change. Clothes bomb transformed. That makes no sense. I already had a- oh, I bought two wetsuits accidentally. Didn't I? Whoops. No. Just go swim. Alright. Oh, here's something. Sea urchin.
It would have been better if Cat was about to leave her house and close the curtains on her. Oh, there's a bubbler. It's not even what we're looking for. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. All right, got his communicator. We are ready. Where is he? I feel like he's over here somewhere. Gulliver, where are you? It would have been Imagine. Was in her house and just looks at the window and sees Christian's like, ew, and shuts the curtain. That's funny. Uh, Yar, I did find it. All right. Extra cherries on top, even now I can contact me faithful crew. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. That would have been really funny. All right. Uh, one sec. Fix. Let me fix this. Like, YouTube keeps giving me errors, saying that things are uh, not happening. You know what? I think that that's going to be it for tonight. And I think that uh, we should go over and check on Koi because he's streaming right now too. So I will see you guys over there. Uh, so Kern and I will be watching that. But thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Thanks Lemonade, Amber, um, uh, Gabby, Cake Chicken, uh, Armando, and VK's channel for uh, hanging out with us tonight. Um, I thought that this was gonna be a way longer stream because I thought that it wasn't gonna work and it's gonna be way more complicated than it was. And it was super easy to do. So let's go over there and say hi to Koi. Uh, I think he's doing some island tours. So I will see you guys over there uh, in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go uh, eat dinner because I haven't done that yet. And uh, I will be back with you guys tomorrow hunting for camo frog. You're kind of surprised that Gulliver's crew even comes back to pick him up with how often he falls off the boat. Yeah, how often he quote-unquote falls off the boat. Bye, Amber. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Bye, Cake Chicken. Bye, Lemonade. We will see you guys over on the, uh, the other stream there. Bye.